Thank welcome. you. You're welcome. Uh, Paul here, Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. Mm -hmm. And uh, Quentin, we're just going back to these GS Minis. Uh, mm -hmm. We've done these before many a times. And we thought today, though, we would just kind of go through each one of them. Because currently in the lineup with Taylor, we have the GS Mini E Koa, which is all Koa. We have the GS Mini E Walnut, which is a walnut back and side spruce top. And then we have the All Mahogany. Uh, these two both have the pickup systems in them. The All Mahogany is just straight up, straight up guitar. They all come with great travel bags. These are kind of that you know, amazing travel size guitar. For those of you who don't know that, they're great for starters, uh, younger kids, ladies buy them, men buy them, everyone buys them. They're just kind of a workhorse of a guitar. Everyone should have one on the couch, on the camping, mm -hmm. you name it. Anyways. Well, I was just gonna add to that. I mean, it, they, they play well, they're tailored, so they're, they're crafted, uh, you know, precisely and mm -hmm. put together well. Uh, they they play okay. Mm -hmm. So you know we're not trying to compare these guitars to right. full size. Uh, you know, one of the big guitar makers, a Dreadnought or uh, Jumbos or even the uh, Grand Auditorium models right. that you know Taylor would produce. These are these are smaller. They're condensed. Size. They have an, a sound that is uh, reflective of their body size. Yep. But for the you know the applications that we're talking about, learners, uh, quiet couch playing, yep. uh, campfires. Uh, Exactly. They are they are more than sufficient. They are. They're wonderful guitars. They sound amazing. What we're doing today, though, is really just going to kind of show you what the difference between these three models sounds like. So we'll get to that at the end of the video. But I'm just going to say, you know, a lot of times people start with this one maybe because of its beauty. Mm -hmm. You know, but tonally, I mean, you know, let's 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 be honest here. They're mm -hmm. all going to be very very similar. These right. are all small guitars, right? Mm -hmm. You can't really sit here and say, well, that one's going to be better than that one, that one's better than that one. Mm -hmm. It's just a preference. Right. It really depends on what you want. Right. They're They'll... all great guitars. This one sells really well because it's beautiful, mm -hmm. also sounds great. Mahogany could, you know, be a little bit more mellower on the top. This one was spruce. It might be a little brighter. Mm -hmm. Overall, though, we'll just play them all. That's our expect They're gonna expectations be... based on our yeah. understanding of the way. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll play a little bit for yeah. you. Maybe and, I'll uh, be surprised and one of them will be outstandingly better no than the other. No substitute but... for, for getting someplace, come down Music Villa or your local music yeah. store and, and play them for yourself. But the totally. uh, last thing that I would point out that I think is kind of neat is... Um, for these guitars, the ones that come with pickups, yep. I mean, you get this nice little tuner, tuner. you get a volume, a tone control, and yep. if and and the you can correct me, it's it's runs on watch batteries. Yeah, yeah, right. just so like your uh, clip-on tuners, it's the same battery. Gotcha. So it's relatively Easy. minimally invasive yep. to <laughs> yeah to change they're, these. So they're great. Yeah. So, so let's uh, we'll just go to the end of the video. We'll get going. We'll compare them. And, uh, you know the but okay. I'm supporting the you local supporting. MSU Bobcats. So, Great. Of course. Appreciate it. Of course. All right. We'll get to it. Thanks for watching.